Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Google Forms with Jira. First things first, we have to create ourselves uh, an account at uh, uh, Google Forms or log into our existing Google account. Uh, as you probably thought, we won't be able to make this integration happen through uh, Google Forms website. So I've decided to use third party app just to make this integration work. I've decided to use automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, once we're in here, let's go to the integrations and then uh, to the bottom left part at see all categories. Now we are at, at, at uh, app integrations and uh, we are about to pick the first app that we want to integrate. In our case, it's uh, Google Forms. It's the third option, as you can see here. And once the Google Forms is integrated, we want to pick a counterpart, which will be Jira. Straight away, we have a couple of uh, popular integrations uh, as an option here that uh, Ultimate.io already pre-made it for us. But if you won't be able to find the integration that you're uh, looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, uh, there's uh, only one option for Google Forms. So we have to go with this one. And on the opposite side, underneath the actions, we should go with Jira. So actually we have five options, but let's stick with the first one. Now we just hit try it now button where we get redirected to sign up page and we have to log in or register uh, our account. And after that, we are basically a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use appear.com, uh, which is basically a very similar app to automate, also integration app. So we, uh, once we create an account here, let's go to the top left corner and create a Zap. Now we also have to start with the trigger, which will be Google Forms. Uh, we have to set up a trigger event. Uh, there are two options. So let's still go with the first one, continue, choose uh, an account. So we have to log in to our account that we created, continue. And now we have to set up a trigger. So there is a couple of projects that I already got going on. So let's go with this pie chart, for example, and worksheet, it's pie. Continue. And uh, we can test the trigger now. Or go to the second action straight away. Now we have to pick the app event from Jira. Let's go with software cloud, action event, stick to the first one, continue. And the last thing is we have to log into our Jira account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.